Hello everyone, Yo Yo Ed here. So today I'm going to present you how to use the mini PCIe 1X to PCIe 16X riser. And above it, I'm using the GTX 750Ti as the uh, external graphic adapter. So people always asking to me if it's possible to use the uh, mini PCIe 1X to 60X using USB 3.0 riser like this for usually which people use to mining Bitcoin if it's possible for the uh, external graphic adapter and the answer is yes it is works so and here this is my laptop uh, below it you can see the uh, mini PCI slot previously there was a Wi-Fi card in there and then I uh, change it with this uh, riser and how about the uh, cable the cable is the USB 3.0 and I put some of the extended cable for riser so how about my wifi card if it been whitelisted or not yeah actually it it was whitelisted but uh, using Nando software Nando eGPU setup I can bypass it I mean I can cheat it using that tools so after this video I will create another video to show you how to set up the uh, this eGPU using mini PCIe 1X to PCIe 60X riser which is this is definitely not the XP GDC Beast which uh, really famous among the uh, gamer with using their laptop for playing games so so what what actually the uh, performance for this device so I will going I will show you the benchmark for this PCI riser So as we can see, so maximum is 56 FPS, FPS I mean, using the MSI Combuster version 3.5.2.1. So we can see the score is 3059 at a rate 50 FPS using GeForce GTX 750 Ti resolution these resolutions full HD resolutions and the 4x uh, 
MSA anti aliasing aliasing So what if we use the internal monitor? So what is the best buffer result? Oops, sorry. I will move it to this place first. I will start by Marian. Ah. So the if the FPS dropped from average 50 FPS to below 30 FPS. This is because the uh, LCD monitor using extra bandwidth to send it back to the device. So compared to the extra monitor, the communication above I mean between the device is directly as you can see it here compared to the laptop so there is a gap between the uh, riser laptop and the internal LCD that's why uh, the frame rates is below compared to the lower compared to the external monitor so shall we take a look for the device manager Here you go. So, uh, previously I got error code 12, so this is for uh, working driver, the uh, previous property is not like this, it said error code 12, and that is because we need to set the DSDT bit to increase the uh, resource error code 12 means not enough resource allocations for this uh, new device it's been detected so the step one before we go through the uh, the SDT table setup you need to make sure if the laptop and it identified the riser if not we can't move to the DSTT table process so what you need to do is install the Nando eGPU1X software to help us configure the riser and also the figure card that you have bypass the whitelist after that if you are lucky you will not uh, confront with the DSD table but if you got the DSDT table I mean the arrow 12 you need to modify the DSDT table just follow the instruction uh, from the link below this video there's a plenty steps need to do mm. so after you have successfully created the EML file you need to compile it make sure if the compile success succeed because when if it not succeed then you copy paste that to the Uh, and the GPU 
configuration after booting to Windows it will go blank indicate uh, it doesn't work so first thing you need to open the uh, EML then compile make sure there is no error at all if it if the error appears you need to fix it manually using this tool called this GT editor after that you can save it and then put it on the configuration folder but before you are using these tools you need to follow this set setup from Nendo so I think that's all from me so it is po really possible using the riser which people call this for uh, Bitcoin mining and the purpose of this device is for Bitcoin mining yeah, I've seen a lot of people write that written that on, on the command and everywhere yes so somewhat like a impossible to use this device for external GPU and I proved that it's wrong so this uh, this adapter can be used for external GPU all you need to do is to configure it and the Nando software and I, I don't mean I promote I'm not promoting the uh, Nando GPUs Nando software but I just want to tell you if you use that server for about $15 you can make your life easier than have to struggle to configure it by yourself okay so another question is What is the per what is the performance compared to the desktop? Uh, I think the performance not really. I mean, I'm the same like desktops, and I'm I'm not seeing a difference about the uh, MS MSI Combustor benchmark. Okay, bye.